me. That got your attention, didn't it? I like aliens. Okay, now we're going to do place value decimals grade 5. Pretty easy. Place value we've done before, I think in grade 4, where ones in the ones and the tens in the tens and the hundreds in the hundreds. So this is just the same, except we have tenths and hundredths. And if I wanted to, I could have thousandths. That means three uh, zeros here instead of two. All right, thousandths, because decimals are based on the tenths and the hundredths and the thousandths and so on. Tens of thousandths. All right, it's a very short, sharp lesson, this one. Let's go for it. 1.2, if you had to put 1.2 in the, into the uh, columns here, we don't have any thousands, we don't have any hundreds, we don't have any tens. We've got a one, one, one. How about that? So put the one, one there. The decimal point goes under the decimal point, of course. And the first number after the decimal point is a tenth. So that goes there. That was easy. Next one I've got here is 25.06. Now, the two is a tens number. Whole numbers, aren't they? And the five is a ones number. Goes there. Decimal point. <clears throat> there are no tenths. Zero means no tenths. And the six means six hundredths. Easy. 236. Well, we've got 200, three tens, six ones. Decimal point. Five, two, five is the tenths, two is the hundredths. Wow. Can you believe it? So easy. And then I put a thousand in. 7,067.45. Well, the 7,000 goes in the thousands column. The zero is, stands for no hundreds. There are six tens, seven ones, decimal point. And then we've got four, five, point four five. I should cut that off. All right, <clears throat> that's my lesson. Place value with decimals. It's so easy. I don't want to confuse you anymore because keep it simple. Back to basics. That's what we're called.